Hey everyone, welcome to the realm where imagination meets AI. So today we're diving headfirst into Mid Journey, which is the tool that's transforming how we create art. So you know, no matter uh, your skill levels, because get ready to harness the power of artificial intelligence and bring your wildest visions to life. So you know, in this video, I uh, will break down, you know, the basics of Mid Journey's secrets also like master his commands and unlock his full creative potential. So in this video, I will guide you from step to step, you know, to studying artwork, providing that anyone can be AI artist. And not only that, I'm also going to be telling you the perfect prompt formula through which you can create exceptional art from mid journey, like without any problem. All right. So you know, let's dive in and explore the endless possibilities that await when imagination and code collide. So you know, without further ado, let's just jump right into it. All right, so first of all, what you need to do, you need to go to uh, this website, which is midjourney.com slash home. So this will basically direct you to the homepage of Midjourney, where you can see different options. We have documentation, we have showcase, join the beta and sign in. So if you're not signed in, uh, you can simply go ahead and sign in with your Discord. So yeah, one more thing, make sure you have your Discord downloaded because it is really important uh, to run Midjourney if you don't have the uh, you know Discord application in your PC. So yeah, uh, after that, what you need to do is you need to click on join the beta and this will basically directly direct you to the Discord app where you'll see the mid journey icon. So here we have uh, the mid journey interface. So we have like, you know, all the communities we have info. So getting started. So if you want, you can easily find the tutorials from mid journey themselves in order to get started. Then you have announcements, status, rules, then we have support. So if you have any problem, you can go ahead and ask mid journey for the support. Then you have newbies, so you can go ahead and select any of the newcomer rooms and you can start prompting in that, which I'll show you in just a minute, okay? But uh, before starting everything, there's one very important thing, which is mid-journey pricing, okay? So you need to make sure that you have subscribed the basic standard like pro or any plan of mid journey in order to get started so you know it is very economical and very reasonable so you can start at and get the monthly billing which i have already so you can start paying ten dollars per month so it is very affordable and you'll get tons of features in that very basic plan all right all right so now let's just go ahead and discuss some of the basic commands of mid journey so you know we have lots of commands that you can find in mid journey so first of all if you go ahead and go into messages select like backslash so it will basically give you lots of basic commands okay so first of all obviously we have imagine from through which you can create images with mid journey then we have settings so you can view and adjust your personal settings so let's just say if i go over here and if i click enter all right so it will basically give you a lot of options so yeah there is a uh, mid journey model v6 alpha the newly released you know alpha model of mid journey which is really really good and then you have robot okay so you can go ahead and select robot if you want the mid journey to create raw footages for you then you have style low style medium style is high so now this will basically tell you like how you want your uh, you know image to style. So for that, I'm just going to go ahead and select high. And if you want, you can go ahead and select very high. It, it will basically take a bit of time. So, you know, if you don't uh, want to wait too long on the images, so I suggest you select style medium. So this will basically, uh, you know, give you quite a bit of handsome output for your prompts. Then you have public mode, remix mode, high vibration mode. So these are all the settings you can play with in mid journey in order to get the best images uh, from mid journey right away. All right. All right. So the next command is backslash s. So over here, you can just go ahead and ask any question from mid journey. So let's just say if I go ahead and ask a question in mid journey, like how can I subscribe to mid journey? Okay. Let's just say if, if you want to know the information about that, so I'm going to write here, how can I subscribe to mid journey? So I will say, you know, uh, to subscribe, type backslash subscribe in a different channel for a personal link to your account page. Commands don't work here or sign in with Discord and midjourney.com has a uh, slash account. So, you know, uh, like that, you can go ahead and ask any FAQs, any question regarding midjourney by this very simple prompt, okay? And if you want to explore more, you can simply go ahead and go to the documents of midjourney, which is docs.midjourney.com command list. So over here, you'll get lots of information about the commands that you have. So we have ask, then we have blend that I'll be discussing with you guys a bit later. Then we have daily team. So you can toggle notification things for the daily team channel update. Then we have docs, then we have describes that we'll also be discussing today. Then you have FAQs. So, you know, you can use the official mid journey discord server to quickly generate a link to popular prompt craft channel FAQ. Then you have fast, so you can switch to the fast mode. Then you have help, imagine. So, you know, basically there are tons of commands over here okay in today's video because this is uh, the basic one so we'll be discussing 
the most important commands that we can use in image journey in order to create the best images possible all right all right so first of all for that let's talk about text to image generation okay so you know you can experiment with different style modes and settings so you know if you want a photorealistic portrait of your uh, like grandma riding a dragon like or anything like that so mid journey's got you covered like in all those like hypothetical scenarios okay so for that i'm just going to go ahead and go to any of the newcomer rooms let's say if i go to this newbies dash 144 and over here simply for generating text to image i'm going to go ahead and hit slash imagine okay so you can see it's saying create images with mid journey so over here i can now write a prompt all right, so now comes the most important part of the video, which is how you can generate the best prompt out of mid journey. Okay, so which is the best prompt formula? All right, so here is the answer for that. So the best prompt formula for mid journey is first you will write medium, then you have style or composition, scene, modulate, and dash dash, you know, which will basically be the additional information or, you know, the resolution or aspect ratio or anything about the, uh, about the image that you want. All right, so for that, let me just go ahead and give you some of the examples in order to create the best prompts out of your prompt formula, all right? All right, so our first prompt is going to be all painting impressionist a woman reading a book in a sun-drenched garden make the colors vibrant and brush strokes loose, okay? So as you guys can see, this basically contains all the information that we had in our prompt formula. So this is our medium, which is all painting. Then we have style and composition, so it will be impressionist. And then we have uh, the scene, okay? The scene is the woman reading a book in a sun-drenched garden. And you know what is her modulate? Our modulate is you need to make the colors vibrant and the brush strokes loose. And what is her dash dash? So we want the image to be as aspect ratio of 4 by 3, okay? So now let's just go ahead and hit enter and see what is the output for that all right so it's waiting to start so i just need to wait for a minute in order to that to be complete all right so as you guys can see that's basically automatically uh, you know assume that we want our style to be raw and it's basically using the virgin 6.0 which is really really good all right so check this out so you know through our perfect prompt formula it has created amazing output for our images which was all panning okay so obviously it was all panning impressionist Woman reading a book in a sun-drenched garden, which is exactly right. Make the colors vibrant and brush strokes loose, which is absolutely perfect. And her aspect ratio was 4 by 3. So, you know, this prompt basically, it can lie in the category of human nature or serene or just like that, okay? So, you can go ahead and, you know, just prompt according to the categories that you want. So, if you go ahead and see more of the details, so we have U1, U2, U3, U4. So, if you guys might be wondering, so this is basically the option to upscale the image, okay? So, if you want... The first image to be upscaled, this one. So you can go ahead and simply click on U1. If you want the second one to be upscaled, you can go ahead and click on U2. Then if you want this one, so U3 and this one. Uh, so for that, you have to select U4. And for V1, V2, V3, V4, these are for variation. So let's just say uh, I like the photo of, you know, this fourth one. I like the fourth image a lot and I want more variations of these kind of images. So for that, I will select V4. So this means, you know, I want more like variation of our fourth image. Okay. So, you know, basically, uh, you know, starting the job. So let's just wait for that. All right. So check this out. You know, we set to mid journey to create the fourth variation of this image, right? The fourth one right over here. And for that, it created me like more variations. So let's just say on this image, I'm very much liking the third one, okay? Because the view is a lot visible and it's a lot appropriate, right? So I can go ahead and select U3 because I want the third image to upscale, right? So I can click on that. And if you don't want, you can go ahead and simply click on this button. So if you want mid journey to start everything like again, okay? So check this out. You know, this is our final result, which was basically oil painting. The one reading above in Sun French Garden, make the colors vibrant and brush stroke loose. And for that, this is our final result, which looks absolutely perfect, right? So now let's just go ahead and see our second example by again, our prompt formula. So this time our prompt is gonna be, so for that, you can see once again, this is our medium. Uh, this is our style of composition, this is our scene, this is our modulate, and this is our additional detail which will dash dash. So we want zoom to be 2x, okay? Alright, so check out this. So it was digital art, surreal, a city floating in the clouds. It was basically hypothetical, add a sense of mystery and wonder. So check out the results. These are absolutely beautiful. So let's just say I'm really much liking um the third image, right? So I want to upscale the third image, and for that, what I need to do is I need to click U3. 
So it will start working on the upscaling of my third image. So this is the final result. So I can go ahead and save this image right away. I can use that for, you know, whatever purpose I want. So now let's just go ahead and see our final, uh, you know, prompt and final perfect prompt. So for that, I'm going to be using a black and white image. So I'm going to go ahead and select imagine again. And in that, I'm going to type black and white, a lone astronaut standing on the surface of Mars, focus on the vastness and isolation of the landscape. And I want the photo to be grainy. Okay. So let's just hit enter and see what output is going to generate for that. Okay. So it's saying uh, the, it's invalid parameter because, uh, you know, grainy is unrecognized. So, okay, no problem. We're going to change it. So I'm going to hit imagine once again. And instead of grainy, I'm going to write like zoom 2x. Okay. All right, so now let's just hit enter and see what output we're gonna get for that. All right, so check out this beautiful result. So we have black and white, a lone astronaut standing on the surface of Mars. Focus on the vastness and isolation of the landscape. And for that, it created very much beautiful results as you guys can see. All right, so over here, you know, these are very much clear and very, you know, you can say vast in details, right? So let's just say I want more variations of uh, the third image, okay? So for that, I'm gonna go ahead and hit V3 because I want more variations. And for that, it will start my job once again. All right, so check this out. We have now more variations of, you know, uh, the third image that we wanted. So we have like these images, let's just say, I'm very much liking the second image. So I'm just going to go ahead and upscale the second image. All right. So it will basically give me the result. So now, you know, check out this image. This looks absolutely perfect. It's black and white. And then we have, you know, uh, an astronaut standing on Mars. So, you know, it's absolutely perfect. We can use it for our purpose. So, you know, here is uh, the whole uh, brief explanation about how you can do perfect text to image generation with your perfect prom formula all right all right so now let's talk about the image to image creation so now with mid journey you can go ahead and upload your images uh so you can upload files and you don't know, make more variations out of images okay all right so for that uh, you need to go to uh your discord once again and for that uh, you need to upload uh, your file first of all which will be basically your picture right so you need to click on this plus option and click on upload a file all right okay so this will direct you to your uh, file explorer so you can basically go ahead and input any image you like so let's just say i provide you know the image of this cat right over here and after you're done with the uploading so you need to click enter okay so this will basically you know process and upload the image to mid journey and from now on you need to go ahead and press right click and you know copy link of the image all right and then well with the next step you need to go ahead and hit imagine prompt once again and over here you need to basically provide uh, the description, like how you want that image to convert, right? So let's just say if I type here like cat dancing in the jungle dramatic scene, okay? But before that, you need to provide in the link of your uh, image that you just uploaded over here. And now if I press enter, so we'll go ahead and wait for that. So as you guys can see, it basically has taken the link of uh, the image that we just uploaded. And after that, it taken action of, you know, the cat dancing in the jungle. So it will basically, you know, take this cat uh, in your image and provide, you know, the scene which is in the jungle and dramatic scene. So let's just wait for that. All right, so take a look at that. So this is our final image. So, you know, this is the cat dancing in the jungle. It's a dramatic scene. So this was our image, the initial image, and that it converted this to this amazing, beautiful, you know, dramatic scene of cat dancing in jungle. So this is how basically you can go ahead and uh, you know, play with image to image generation in mid journey. All right. All right. So next up, we're going to discuss about the blend. All right. So the blend command basically allows you to upload two to five images quickly. And, you know, then it basically looks at the concepts and aesthetics of each image and merges them to a new like novel type image. Right. So let me just demonstrate you like how it works. For that, you need to go to uh, your Discord again. And with slash, you need to provide in the command, which is blend. All right. So it basically, you know, has provided you two options, but you can go ahead and attach four more if you want. Okay. So let's just say if I want to blend two images. All right. So we have two images over here. So first one is the image of a statue and the other one is the image of flowers. Okay. So let's just say if you want to blend both of images together, like, you know, I want statue and the flower to be like blended in one image. Okay. So for that, I'm just going to go ahead and hit enter. Let's just see the output for that. All right. So it is basically starting command. So let's just go ahead and wait for that. All right. So take a look at this amazing output, you guys. So, you know, here we have the same exact statue of, you know, four different variations. So, you know, this was our source image, which was a statue and flower, right? So it basically, you know, blended both of these images together. So now we have four different variations of a statue with the flower. And if I can go ahead, I can upscale any of them. Let's just say I'm good with 
the first one so i'm gonna go ahead and hit upscale one and it will basically give me the final output which is a statue and the flowers with that blended together in one particular image all right okay so now last but not least we have a command which is describe so the describe command allows you to upload an image and generate like four possible prompts based on that image okay so you know uh, you can use the describe command to explore new vocabulary and aesthetic moments okay so for that, you just need to click like backslash and, you know, you need to type describe. So now it will ask you to attach a file. So let's just say I attach any file over here at uploading my picture and if I hit enter. So, you know, it will start uh, sending the command mid journey bot is thinking. So, you know, it basically has described the image. So you're seeing a young man in a green bomber jacket standing on the sidewalk in the style of, you know, this and UHD image in uniformly state images, webcam photography. So let's just say I provide some other image. So I'm just going to go ahead and type describe once again and now i provide some kind of a scenario so let me just do that let's just say i provide this image of prompt engineering okay and which has a robot as well so let's just see how well it's going to describe me for that all right so now we have again uh the four possible prompts based on that image so you're seeing a robotic head in front of an electronic screen that has the worst prompt engineering in the style of mad drawing then you have a picture of a robot with the worst prompt engineering in the style of realistic renderings the robot has the worst prompt engineering on a green background, you know. So, you know, just like that, uh, you can basically go ahead and copy these prompts and use that in mid-journey. So, you know, now with the help of mid-journey, you can not only, you know, create images, but you can also upload images and create prompts out of that as well so that you can use it for your good use. All right. All right. So, there you have it, guys. So, now mid-journey secrets are unlocked to you and the only limit is your imagination. So, yeah, I hope you like this video. And in the next one, we'll be discussing about the advanced features and everything uh, you need to know about mid-journey. All right. So, I'll catch you guys in that video. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.